Welcome back, everyone, to the long-awaited My Summer Car. Oh boy, we have done a load of stuff, kind of, within the series so far. Um, I've started a new profile. I had problems with the car before. Um, it's in the garage. There it is. Yeah, I've rebuilt the whole thing. There's been a load of updates since the last time I played it, and yeah, I just thought I'd pick it up at this point. Uh, this is... This is kind of like the only point in the game where, you know, we haven't really covered, which is the kill you. Um, I decided to save everyone the time of watching the boring process and just like go ahead with making the kill you and then just delivering it, essentially. That's what I'll do. Um, but there's been a lot of updates. There's been new things added. So there's more aftermarket rims now. To get the tyres, you have to go to Flatari now. Um, there's new batteries, oil filters, uh, a dipstick, um, aerodynamic stuff added to Satsuma to make it more unstable. Um, just a load of things. Load of, load of things. And, uh, yeah, oh, as well, the shower's been added. So the shower means that's the only kind of thing that can decrease your dirtiness. In this case, uh, a sauna can help reduce stress. That's about as useful as the sauna is now. Um, electric bills have been added, so you get billed. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's this guy now, this gambling person, and a new car. Um, what else is there? Um, I know that added fireworks, and they're still in the game. What else? Is there anything else? Anything else that I missed? Bumpy terrain, that's it. The The rally course is a lot more bumpy, and now the rally part has actual, like, tape, so you don't have to, you know, memorise the course, um, essentially, which takes the fun out of it a little bit, but, you know, just to help, I suppose. But, yeah, we're getting straight back into it. I'm um, just going to finish the sauna off, which I think I've pretty much wasted that entire bucket of water. So, thirst is up, though, like, really high. Um, we, we do need to go and get the, uh, the kill you delivered. I haven't started this car up um, yet, so I will be doing that as well after we deliver the kill you and do some other stuff. I've decided now to bring this series forward with um, only doing the firewood and kill you jobs because they're the, the most you can get, really, money-wise. Um, the... The sewage jobs are really boring. Um, you've got a place now where you have to go and dump it, pay to get that dumped, and uh, just spilling it anywhere is just a, just a, an infraction and you'll just get like a heavy fine for it. So essentially it only makes sense to do the, the firewood and the kill you, because both of them are okay anyway. For money, if, if you nail the kill you, that's, that's good, because then you've got a load of money. We've got a load of bottles in there. Um, the, the, I think there was still some kill you left, so we're going to have to recover some more bottles um, before we do, well, before we even make the next batch, essentially. Um, but we'll just open the hood on this car, and it's it's the nice baby blue. I haven't started it yet. I've got the racing radiator in um, this time instead of the default one, because the, the default one is bad. Because I broke the car last time, I guarantee by doing that. We'll put this new battery on charge as well. I do have some upgrades. I've got the steel headers, as you would have seen. Um, unfortunately, that needs the racing exhaust to be put onto the car. Um, but at this point, we'll just leave the battery to charge. Start up the van. Put some tunes on. Oh, well, in this case, it's not tunes, but it's just some random talk show. Right, let's, uh, let's try and uh, get off to a start here. Let's reverse this uh, good old van um, backwards. We do have seatbelts. And yeah, that's going to be interesting to see whether or not we die from a collision um, like we used to before without the seatbelts. Because you, you used to die pretty quickly. The only the only like kind of vehicle you could use without dying was the, the truck, which is still sat there in its same old position. Have not touched it. But here we are. We're at the kill you guy. This will be fun to see what he thinks of this. Oh, achievement unlocks, Mr. Kill You. Very good. He loves it. 
How much money will we get for this? How much money? Oh my god, 170 marks for each. That's mental. Right, let's uh, let's put all the kill you on the table and let's see our total amount of monies that we gain from this little uh, recreational hobby. Dude, how much money do you have? Man, this guy. This guy's our supplier. The most refreshing uh, finish whatever it is in all of uh, the world. Uh, I'm just going to check see if there's any bottles that have glitched through the side of the van or have been stuck in the little gaps. So um, we'll just do that quickly. I don't think I can see any, believe it or not. I think we're we're okay for all the bottles being put on the desk. Well, his, his table. So let's see how much money we get. We get 3,060 marks. Ooh, I don't know. Because we obviously have some left. Dude. I think we could possibly make just as much, if not a little bit more, on the uh, the kill you front. But I, I do have some left. Um, now we'll just have to head back. I think. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you every I'll I'll catch you up uh, when we're at either Flataris, because I think I might go down there to see if we can get some tires, or I might be back at the house. But but we'll see. I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Okay then, guys. Well, um, Flatari wasn't in. So typical. Wait, that was close. That train could have killed me if I was a little bit later. Anyway, yeah, he wasn't in. He, he, I always catch him when he's shot, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, we're going to head back to the house now and uh, try and start up the, the Satsuma the first time on this profile. I've uh, started a new profile anyways. But hopefully this time we, we don't run into any problems. Um, that would be great if we couldn't run into any problems because then everything goes really smooth. And the fewer problems we have, the sooner we can get to the rally. And, yeah, we do need to, uh, to take the firewood down. In fact, I don't think we've even chopped it. But we need to keep doing that quite quite quickly to uh, to get the money for the, for the catalogue, I suppose. So we can get our rally requirements. That'll be fun when we get the rally requirements. Can't wait for the rally. That's the end goal. So far, anyways. Right, so I think we might just pull up here and see if we... Uh, can, actually, we do need to grab the, the warning triangle at some point. Off the back of that tractor. Actually, the firewood's already chopped. Okay, this saves me a load of work to do. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so what we'll do is we'll... Uh, We'll check first, because I can't remember since the last time I did this. We'll check to make sure that it's full. Okay, that works for chopping it. Right, firewood. Yeah, it's full. Okay, that saved me like a load of time. Jeez. Right, we'll, uh, we'll pop in here then. And we'll uh, drive the tractor over to the house. Oh, we need some more fuel as well for the tractor. That would help. Um... I did go and fill it up. I think I filled the diesel one up. If not, I think it's already full, let's be honest. I I don't remember a lot since the last time I played this, because uh, it's, it's been a while since I played the profile. Um, well, this new one anyways. Because I was so far behind everything, I had to get it all done. So we'll just pop some uh, fuel in here, quickly. We might use all of it, you know. Just going to fill it up enough. So we can uh, get to the firewood guy and back comfortably without um, running out of fuel. Because that's a nightmare. There's literally no place to... Like, the nearest place is probably... What, like, the, the highway or something? The motorway? The really fast road? It's probably the nearest place and I have to walk all the way there. Don't want to do that. Because that's infuriating. Very infuriating. So we'll just pop this diesel jerry can in the back of the uh, the van. The van is pretty bare at the moment. Uh, it won't be before long. Uh, I guarantee you that. But what we'll do, we'll pack the van up. I think we'll uh, we'll bring the tractor around as well because that'll be that'll be very useful if we bring the tractor around. Because then we can go literally out of our house. Get in the tractor, go straight to Firewood Guy, get paid, drive the tractor back, put it in the barn, and begin chopping some more wood. 
essentially, that's what I want to do. And so I don't have to keep walking all the way over there all the time. Right, so the, we've got our little trusty friend, the scooter, still there. Which is good, because we're going to need that guy when we take our Satsuma infer inspection or uh, repair. Possibly repair, whichever comes first. But right, then um, I've finished pretty much the whole thing. Um, I've just got the bumpers to put on and the doors. Um, I think it's the back bumper that I need to put on. And hopefully it'll... Uh, there we go, we had, the, uh, we had the thing there. So that's on, that doesn't screw on. Which is so annoying. Um, to be fair, I tried to find, you know, some help, um, kind of threads to see whether or not I had a, an attachment, but apparently it doesn't, so it'll just fall off, and um, which is kind of annoying. So we'll, uh, we'll put the doors on, hopefully this doesn't glitch inside the car and break it, like what happened before, because that's fun, when that happens. Um, right, we'll put the door on, there we go, it's fitted on nicely. Uh, we've got the ratchet set now, so this is going to help a lot um, when we're fixing things and unbolting stuff. That's always fun. Alright, so we'll just screw that bolt on. Come on, get the other bolts. Get that one. Oh, it's very difficult. It still is very difficult to uh, to bolt things in this game. Definitely, you have to glitch through the car. So we'll put the other door on, and I think that's us pretty much done for the whole car. Building-wise, anyways. Screw that on. I actually do have a dash cover there, as you can just see. Um, the, that's a new thing as well. You can buy them at Flit... Um, not Flitari's, uh, Timor's shop. You've got a wheel cover, you've got a dash cover, and you've got a seat cover. Not Probably not going to bother with the seat covers, because we're going to take these seats out. And replace them with the bucket seats when they come. Uh, after the inspection, of course. Because otherwise you'll fail on that. And, uh, yeah, I only found that out. And I had to take off the racing exhaust and the muffler. Yeah, that was fun. We do have a front spoiler as well. And that'll help with handling. Probably not by much, but it will help. But we'll uh, we'll unscrew the tops of these. Um, the braking... The brake master cylinder, I think it is. And also... The clutch um, thingy, don't know what it's called. We'll uh, we'll get our brake fluid, which we've got four little uh, bottles of. They're really small, these bottles, though. So you end up using one just to completely fill. Well, it's not even completely fill. I think you can fill about half of a uh, half a cylinder up, uh, or half fluid. Well, basically, if if you're building a new car and you filling up for the first time you use one uh, you use probably like one and a half bottles of stuff which is annoying it really does test my patience but you know it is what it is we'll need more of these than anything else because we'll use the brakes and that a lot um motor oil we will need we've we've got and uh coolant we also have which is good right so we're going to take this oil filter off i think because um, I don't like the oil filter, it's the stock one. We can now buy them. So we'll, uh, we'll go over and into our little cupboard of, uh, well it should be food cupboard, but it's not. And grab our new oil filter. Because that'll be fun to use, we might as well use it. For our first outing. And uh, we'll use a new battery as well. So we'll just try and get this put on. I hate this so much, the game still doesn't allow me to do this properly just got to wait for the tick again I did have it I did have it again there you go there we go right then let's ensure it's all screwed down don't want it coming off I think that's okay the racing radiator also has some like orange on it I think that's heat um, I presume it's heat because I have actually I don't even know is it just the re no it's the reflection of the rust that's what it is it's so bloody rusty it's annoying. Right, we'll, uh, we'll try and fill these up. Look, see, it just stops. You can't fill things up properly. Alright, that... The laws of gravity work in mysterious ways. Put it that way. And, uh, yeah. We've filled all that up. Put the new battery in. Okay, let's see if this thing starts. Oh boy, can't wait for this. Cannot wait for Satsuma to be started.
All right, let's ensure we do this properly. Because we don't want it failing. Come on. Start. I wonder why it's not starting. Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait, I forgot I need to put fuel in this thing. Haha. <laughs> I didn't even put fuel in it. That's, that's, that's quite funny. Got all in a rush trying to get it started and didn't even put fuel in. Well, without fuel, it's kind of broken, so... That's a big rip. Right then, gasoline, in you go. We'll fill it. Um, I think one of these jerry cans takes it up to about halfway, roughly. Um, so we'll have plenty of fuel to get it started anyways. Right, we'll just fill it up. It's taking its time to fill up, to be fair. And then hopefully we'll uh, we'll get this running. Then we can go places. But I won't be using it a whole lot because last time I did that, well, uh, the car one blew up, possibly. And two, uh, it it was just an iron all the time. You can actually get punctures in this game now, so that's why I won't use it as much. Um, the van's probably the most useful thing for the shopping runs and they kill you and... Just getting loads of stuff where the Satsuma's probably just good at posting a letter and bringing back a few groceries. That's about it. But I'm not going to be using it a whole lot um, since last time because, like, last time I used it all the time and it broke. Probably because of my error. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll get this hopefully started now. Okay, that was a bit weird. That noise was a bit weird. Well, that started quickly. Uh, well, that's the smoothest start ever. Oh, and I love that sound. The battery is just about... Look at that. The battery level is not even half. Well, it's a good job we started this car. We're going to leave it running a little bit, though. Um... Right, so the oil level's okay. We've got the battery charging. That's good. Water pressure will possibly go up when the temperature goes up. Battery slowly charging. That's good. So that means the alternate is working. That means everything is working properly. There you go. Nice little uh, rusty inside there. That's always fun. Yeah, I think this car may be a little bit damaged because that's that's a bit broken. Um, towing hooks down there. The the radiator is not working. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Don't know. But anyways, we're okay. Um, the chalk's out. Temperature's slowly getting there. Fuel mixer says about 8. Right, so what we'll do then is we'll have to tighten the... Uh... No, we have to do the idle screw, that's right. The idle screw for the fuel mixture. Most important part. To get the fuel mixture right, because if you don't, you can actually fail the, uh, the inspection at the uh, inspection shop. Right, so we're just going to try and find... I can't remember where it is, believe it or not. Um, right then. There it is. There it is, I had it then. There it is. Right, so we'll uh, try and get this up and running. Fingers crossed it'll work. That's nine. I don't know. Right, we'll, uh, we'll try and put this chalk in then. Oh! It popped. That's not supposed to happen. I don't want to break this thing. Right then, I managed to find some solutions on uh, where you should be scrolling. I was scrolling the opposite way. It took me a while to actually get it right. Um, in fact, it was all the way like in the red zone on the fuel mixture, so it's about like 19 or something, which is not good. It'll just backfire loads. And use up all your fuel. So we'll... Uh, I think that should be okay. Why is my oil pressure like zero? I'm just I've just noticed that. Why is it zero? Huh. I wonder but we'll uh, we'll reverse this for now. I don't know why it's zero. See look at that it's disgraceful disgraceful I stalled it as well. Right, let's reverse. That didn't sound healthy at all. Oh well, I don't even know. 
I don't even know what caused that. But the most important thing is that Satsuma is uh, is up and running. I don't know what that red light means. So the most important thing is that the car starts, it works, it's all good. And yeah, I nearly stalled it. <laughs> it shouldn't have actually happened, that. Anyways, we'll uh, park it up here. We can finally get it out of the garage. Yeah, just making sure these brakes work as well. Um, because last time I built the Satsuma, it didn't it didn't work. The brakes did not work. Did not function. So I'm making sure they do. And I haven't heard that noise before. That is the car cooling down, I found out. But wow, um, we've finally got that Satsuma running. Um, it's a different paint job to the other one. Still, still blue. Still blue, it's just all light blue for now. Um, we might fix up the paint job later. God, there's rust on that bumper. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to get it through inspection first. Um, there's new tyres that we might have to get for it. I don't know, though. If you can pass the inspection with the tyres that you have on, it's recommended to change them, but I don't know if it's required. But we'll uh, we'll put a crate of beer on Satsuma as a... As a memento, and we'll take a toast to uh, me actually getting the car to run. Oh boy. We'll take another, because we can. It's been a very stressful... We, like, it's been a very, very stressful time for this. Been several, several in-game weeks of uh, getting Satsuma started, and right now I'm slightly disorientated. But yeah, the main thing is, Satsuma runs, that is... That is it for this one. We uh, we finally got it running. Next time out, um, we'll start gathering cash and whatnot, and maybe we'll uh, we'll finally, hopefully, fingers crossed, get through the inspection. Um, first go. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more indie and simulation game content, and I shall see you all next time.